I have the craziest thing I need to tell you, but I really have to go to the bathroom. So I'll be back in two seconds, I promise. So anyways, I was like out shopping with Stephanie and she goes like, I want to wear this dress. So just because uh, you wore that dress last year doesn't mean you could wear it this year, I said. And then she goes, and I can't believe she says this. She goes, okay, Ebenezer. And I'm like, what? And then she goes, why don't you lighten up a bit? And I'm like, why don't you just go and get Mona and die? It's unbelievable, right? Can I have a fry? A small one. Excuse me. If it's a small one, yes. Ew. I have planned rehearsals tonight until 10 and there's no dinner break, so this has to hold me over. <sighs> Anyways, Stephanie comes in like this total- Why do you do that? Do what? That? What? That. That whole passive aggressive passive thing you're- Passive aggressive what? The thing that you're doing that you always do so that I end up feeling like crap. I don't know what you're talking about. If you want a fry, take a fry. I don't want one. Do you want one because you don't want one? Or do you not want one because you want me to feel bad for not wanting you to have one? I don't want one. Just take a fry. No. Take that fry. You obviously don't want me to. It's fine if you take a small one. I don't want one. Take a fry! Hey, jeez. There, are we done? I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Chef food, I agree. No, I mean, I don't think I can do this anymore. Do what? Us? This whole us thing? I don't think it's working out. The friendship. <laughs> what is this, a breakup? Oh my god, you're breaking up with me? I just think that we're in different places in our lives. We want different things. This is a breakup speech. I know this speech. You're breaking up with me. Hannah. You're breaking up with me. Would you stop saying that? You're breaking up with me over french fries. It's not about the french fries. Then what is it? I don't know. A lot of things. God, we've been friends since what? Third grade? Aren't you just ready to? To what? To move on. Meet other people. If you want to meet other people, that's okay. Go meet. That's the great thing about friends, you can have more than one. That doesn't work for me. That's how it works for everybody. I am very particular about who I hang out with. I can only deal with about five acquaintance friends and one really good friend. I just don't have the energy for anything else. You know I'm like this. I just don't know why you're surprised. I thought I was your really good friend. You were, but honestly, lately, when we're together, I just feel like like what? Like we're two ships sailing past each other in the night. I don't get it. It means you and I are two ships and it's night. I got that part. And we keep sailing right past each other. Yeah, well isn't that better than crushing into each other? It's just a metaphor, Hannah. I still don't get it. That's my point. You don't get me and I don't get you. You talk about things that I don't care about and I definitely talk about things that you don't care about. I care about the things you say. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You're calling me boring? No. You're calling me boring? No, you're not listening to me. Yes, I am listening to you. I'm listening to you calling me boring. There's a difference between you being boring and you just saying things that I don't find interesting. Well, if I'm so uninteresting, why don't you say something? I can't. Yes, you can. I can't. Why? Because I be saying something all the time. That was really mean. I'm sorry. That was really, really mean. I'm just being honest with you. Well, well, I hate you, huh? How's that for honesty? 